At the end of One Piece Chapter 900, we saw the Straw Hat Jolly Roger lying in the water. It is implied that it is possible that the Thousand Sunny was destroyed. First of all, it is always possible that it was all an illusion, it wasn't real, and we're just going to leave and everything's going to be peachy. But I don't think that was going to happen. And allow me to tell you about how I think somebody is going to die. First of all, I do believe the Sunny is heavily damaged, if not destroyed, and I believe the Straw Hat Pirates have been captured by Big Mom. I would go as far as to say the first scene in the chapter, besides maybe showing us the condition of the Sunny, would be showing us the Straw Hats in confinement. However, we need to talk about Big Mom for a minute. Big Mom did enjoy the cake, and she even wanted to forward to say thank you for the cake. She truly enjoyed eating it. The outcome I see happening, that I think is possible, is that Big Mom is going to go to them, and Sanji will of course admit to making the cake. He will ask her if she enjoyed it. Big Mom, in gratitude for Sanji making this amazing cake, will say she will spare the Straw Hat Pirates at the proper price. Big Mom is in Yonko, and the Straw Hat can't just leave without suffering something. So Big Mom will let them off the hook if they give something up. Big Mom will offer the Straw Hat the deal. A life, and they can escape. Quite simple. One person dies, and they can leave. This will most likely lead to something like we had on Thriller Bark with Sanji and Zoro, where Nami, Chopper, Brook, all of them will be like, okay, I'll do it, all willing to do whatever it takes to get Luffy out of there. But at the end of the day, I think we all know what I'm about to say. Jinbei is going to offer to die for Luffy. And I do think Jinbei will die. I don't see Jinbei surviving this arc. A lot of people over the past couple months have brought up the 10 crew member limit that Luffy established in the very beginning of the manga where he said he wanted to have a crew with 10 people and that Jinbei and Carrot both joining would make it be 11 people. While I don't necessarily think Oda needs to stick to that statement considering he wrote it over 20 years ago, I can very much see the point the fandom is making and it would eliminate the problem because then Kara could join and it would still be a limit of 10. But Jinbei dying also solves one of this arc's biggest problems which is that the Straw Hats have been getting by way too easily. Yes. Pedro did die, but Pedro did not have any real emotional attachment to either the viewer or the crew itself. While Pedro's death does raise the stakes and does restore tension to the story, it doesn't affect the viewer or the Straw Hat Pirates emotionally the way, say, the death of Ace did. Jinbei saved Luffy's life after Ace died. He restored Luffy's faith in himself and his faith in his friends. Jinbei and Nami have a sort of special connection due to the way they are both connected through their interacting with Arlong. And Jinbei was basically already a straw hat at this point, meaning the rest of the crew would consider him a member of their crew, a precious friend. Unlike with Pedro, Jinbei dying would let the reader question, could a straw hat die? Because Jinbei is basically a straw hat. If Jinbei can die, What's to say Nami can't die? And while the likelihood of that happening would still be low, it would make the likelihood of it happening slightly higher, and at least high enough to give us a better sense of tension. It would show us as readers and viewers that Oda is willing to kill off important characters. That if Oda really wanted to, he could kill a Straw Hat. That when these characters are in danger, we should be worried. We should be concerned. Also, as I mentioned earlier in the video, the study is either destroyed or basically destroyed and has to be rebuilt basically from scratch. The Straw Hats consider the Sunny a member of the crew. They consider your ship a precious friend. So this would be perfect. It would allow us to feel that the Straw Hats went into a Yonko's territory and they did well. But at the end of the day, they aren't ready, because they're not, and they shouldn't get out of Dick without suffering. They went into a Yoko territory with half of their crew, which was a really stupid move. I have no issue with a Straw Hat escaping, 
But if they get away without any real consequences, aside from the death of Pedro, I would be massively disappointed in not just the chapter these events happened in, but the arc as a whole, as it would really hurt the overall arc. If the Straw Hats escape, with the only real true consequence for them personally, being the death of Pedro, then Big Mom and her pirate crew did not live up to the hype, and that is massively disappointing. The Straw Hats need to leave Polkick Island with us, the viewer, feeling like this is something. This is a force so great that the world government lets them do whatever they want, because they don't want to mess with them. The Big Mom pirates need to be so dangerous, and so powerful, and so overwhelming, that we have no doubt in our mind they could do severe damage to the Marines and nearly wipe them out of existence if they wanted to. We need to come out of the dark thinking they could do what the Whitebeard Pirates did during Marine Ford and possibly better. And the best way to do that is basically to have Big Mom win, which you would essentially do in this scenario. It's essentially a scenario where Big Mom wins and she gives them a choice. One of them can sacrifice their life. And because this cake tasted really good, if one of them does that, they can leave. This is a scenario where the Straw Hats get away, but they don't really win. They didn't overpower Big Mom. The moment Big Mom truly decided she was done with them, she was done with them. So that is my personal prediction on the end of the Whole King Island arc and how I believe it will end. Guys, follow me on Twitter, link in the description box down below. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. And subscribe for more videos like this. And below, guys, have a great day. This is Nerd King 101 signing out.